Now we'll continue with the problems. Next problem. In the circuit shown below, in the circuit shown below, the knee current of the ideal Gina diode is the knee current of the ideal Gina diode is 10 milliamperes. To maintain a voltage across 5 volt, to maintain 5 volts across RL, sorry, to maintain 5 volts across RL, the minimum value of RL, the minimum value of RL in ohms and the minimum power rating of the Gina diode and the minimum power rating of the Gina diode in milliwatts in milliwatts respectively are dash respectively are dash Ten volts, hundred ohms, five volts VJ, it's RL, IL. He is given in the problem. The knee current of the Gina diode is 10 milliamperes minimum. V naught is or Vz is 5 volts. Then what is the minimum value of RL? Okay. And also you are asking, okay, minimum value of RL. Power rating. Minimum power rating of the diode. Minimum power rating of the diode. Okay. So first of all, I ask you to find out RL. See, once again, current flowing through this one is I. Here IL. Here current flowing through this one is IZ. I equals to IZ plus IL, it will remain same always. Sorry, IS. IS equals to IZ plus IL. I think in the figure I indicated I, not IS. What is I? 10 minus 5 divided by 100. That is 5 by 100. Okay that is if you milli 100 ok this many milli 50 milli amperes i once you know i then il is equals to i 50 minus 10 that is 40 milli amperes rl equals to this voltage across this one divided by this current. Voltage across this one is parallel to the Gina diode. It's 5 volts. V by 40 milliamperes. That is 5, 5000 0, 0, 0 by 40 ohms. 125. 125 ohms. This is RL. Then you ask minimum power rating. Pz minimum power rating. That is Vz into Iz minimum. It's Vz is this one. Iz minimum is 10 milliamperes. Therefore, 50 milliwatts. Pz minimum. Pz minimum is Vz into Iz minimum. Iz minimum given 10. Vz is 5. 5 into 10, 50 milliwatts. Clear? Next.
that's about the GNR diode. So first we have seen PN junction diode, next we have seen GNR diode. Now we'll see other one, varactor diode. Varactor diode. Okay. Now see here, diode under reverse bias, a PN junction diode under reverse bias, the transition capacitance is given by epsilon A by W. Okay. That's if you see as the reverse voltage increases, what happens to width of the depletion layer? Increases. What happens to CT? Decreases. That as the reverse voltage changes, capacitance is changing. This principle we are using it in a diode, then it is called varactor diode and it is denoted by the symbol like this. It's anode cathode and this capacitance is variable, therefore it is like this. This is called varactor diode whose capacitance value is variable, that is indication. Okay. In the reverse bias condition, its transition capacitance is given by epsilon A by W. If reverse voltage changes means W changes, W changes means transition capacitance is varying. That means the diode capacitance is changing. Therefore, it is shown like that. This diode also called as Volta cap. Okay, Varactor diode or Volta cap or, or some other. Okay, Varactor diode or Volta cap or Vary diode. Like this, some names are there. Volta cap or vary diode or varactor diode. Where we are using this, where we require this uh, varactor diode? If you see in a communication we are using in a balanced modulator, okay. I am not going for a communication related application. In normal life, where we are using the this varactor diode, where it finds. Let us example we are having a FM tuner. You are changing the uh, this one, what we can say, tuner. What is the meaning of that thing? You are changing the tuner means what it is doing. We are selecting another frequency channel. How we are, uh, another frequency channel is selected? The fundamental frequency formula, frequency equals to 1 by 2 pi square root of L into C. Okay. Now, by changing the reverse voltage, this one is changing or not? That means C is varying or not? C is varying means F is varying or not? Therefore, in tuning applications, varactor diode is commonly used. Now, why is our inductor also can be varied, then F can be varied. Yes, that also possible, but inductor means number of windings has to increase, change. Physically, that is not possible. Here, simply by changing the reverse voltage, easily change capacitance. Therefore, in tuning applications, will generally will not use the change of the changing the inductance. We'll change the capacitance and we'll change the frequency like that. Okay. Therefore, it's best way of changing the tuning frequency is by changing the capacitance, not by the inductance, because of its limitations of a inductor. Clear? This is called varactor diode. Now, another diode, we are going for another diode known as tunnel diode. Tunnel diode. This is also, this is invented by the scientist Esaki. Therefore, it is also called as Esaki diode. And the symbol of the Esaki diode is like this. The symbol of the SRK diode is like this. Tunnel diode is very heavily doped diode. Very heavily doped. Very heavily doping. Okay. Now, very heavy doping. In the previous session somewhere I said, for heavily doped diode, Fermi level lies. Normal diode, if normal doping, for a p-type semiconductor lies just above the valence band. In n-type semiconductor lies just below the conduction band, that's Fermi level. 
Fermi level lies just below the conduction band for normal doped one. But for heavily doped one, okay, for if it is a N type semiconductor heavily doped one, Fermi level lies inside the conduction band, inside the conduction band. For a P type semiconductor, Fermi level lies inside the valence band and Fermi level must be straight line throughout the specimen under open circuit condition. Under open circuit condition, Fermi level must be straight line throughout the specimen. Okay. Now, comes to this heavily doped. Heavily doped means the width of the depletion layer is very narrow. For a tunnel diode is order of 100 angstrom units. The, uh, the width of the depletion layer is around 100 angstrom units. If you are going for a heavily doped diode, that's nothing but a for tunnel diode. Now, what is meant by, why it is called tunnel diode? For that one, we have to see the English definition of tunneling. Tunneling means passing through. It has to pass through. Clear? When the tunneling is possible, what is, well, yeah, I will explain what is meant by tunneling. Passing through means, see here, this is acting, this, here it is acting as a barrier. I have taken a P-type semiconductor, N-type semiconductor, like this a PN junction. Here there is a barrier potential is there. Now, there is no movement of charge carriers from here to here. If you give sufficient energy externally from the, like this, the charge carriers will acquire the energy to cross the junction. That means they are jumping. Once they acquire, here there is an electron is there, a hole is there, sorry, not electron here, hole is there. If you give sufficient energy to this one, it will cross the junction. Crossing the means it will jump the junction. It's normal diode. But if you are coming for a tunnel diode, if you are coming for a tunnel diode, the depletion layer is very narrow. The depletion layer is very narrow. Therefore, instead of jumping, they will pass through. That means it will penetrate through. Pass means it will penetrate through the depletion layer. That's the difference between normal uh, PN junction and a tunnel diode junction. In normal PN, PN junction diode, if you give energy to the free electrons or holes, they will try to cross the junction. But in tunnel diode, both the phenomena will be there. Some of the charge carriers will jump by acquiring. If they are unable to acquire the energy to cross the junction, what is the other path, other alternate path? They will penetrate through the junction. They will penetrate to the junction. Now, to penetrate, simply they cannot penetrate. It has to satisfy some condition. Conditions. What are those conditions? The first condition is, the width of the depletion layer should be very narrow. Yes. For a tunnel diode, the width of the depletion layer is very narrow. The first condition will be automatically satisfied for the tunnel layer because it's heavily doped. First condition is over. Comes to second level, second assumption or second constraint to have a tunneling. Let's listen carefully. Here, an hole is there, which is having an energy of 5 electron volts. This hole is having an energy of 5 electron volts. The width of the depletion layer is very narrow. It can penetrate. Now the condition is, it can able to penetrate through this one only if there is an empty state and energy level of 5 electron volt. If somebody is having a 5 electron volts means then it cannot penetrate. Once again I am repeating, a hole, can, a hole or electron can move from one side of the junction to other side provided opposite side there must be an empty energy level. That means there must be an empty energy level has to be existed at same energy this electron. Then it can go and it can sit here. Else 
it let us suppose there is a free energy level existed at 5.1 electron volt or 5.2 or let us suppose 6. It's 5, 5 electron volts already occupied by some other. Then it cannot penetrate. Even though the width of the depletion layer is very narrow. Clear? So for tunneling to be taken place, the first condition is the width of the depletion layer should be very narrow. That will be automatically satisfied. Second one, an electron or hole can cross from one side of the junction to other side. If other side, there is a free energy level at the same energy possessed by the electron at the other end. Here an electron or hole is having energy of 5 electron volt. It can cross to here if there is a free state is available. What is meant by free empty level that I will, I will explain with the figure clear then only tunneling will be taken place is it clear now we are going for this analysis clear so tunnel diode is invented by the scientist SRK therefore it is also called as SRK diode it's a heavily doped diode very heavily doped diode therefore width of the depletion layer is very narrow it's around 100 angstrom units it's for an entire semiconductor uh, since it is heavily doped one for an entire semiconductor, Fermi level lies inside the conduction band. For a p-type semiconductor, Fermi level has to be lies inside the valence band. Fermi level must be straight line throughout the specimen. All these conditions has to be satisfied. But now tunneling has to be taken place means there must be an empty energy level at the other end. Then only that tunneling will be taken place. Okay. Now we will explain the operation of tunnel diode with the help of energy band diagram. Energy band diagram of tunnel diode. Here consider it is a p-type semiconductor. Here it is consider an n-type semiconductor. This is conduction band. This is conduction band. This is depletion layer, very narrow depletion layer because of heavily doped. Okay. Now, in n-type semiconductor, Fermi level, this is ECN, this is ECP. In n-type semiconductor, Fermi level has to lie just inside the conduction band, it's EF. Okay. it is EVP, it is EF. This is EVN, this is valence band, this is valence band. Valence band of a p-type semiconductor. This is valence band of an energy n-type semiconductor. This is forbidden energy gap. ECP. This is forbidden energy gap. So valence band of p-type semiconductor starts from here. Therefore, see Fermi level lies inside the valence band or not? Fermi level lies inside the conduction band or not for an n-type semiconductor? And it is a straight line or not? Okay, now this is barrier potential. This is barrier potential in art. Now, what is this uh, previous session somebody asked, sir, what is the Fermi level indicates for us? That at the time, I, my answer is, I said I will explain with the help of a diagram, then you can understand. And I said it will come in tunnel diode. 
Okay, here now I am explaining what is the meaning, what is the indication of what it indicates for Fermi level. Now, in conduction band, what we are having? Electrons or holes are free electrons. Valence electrons, holes are free electrons. Okay, in conduction band we are having free electrons. Clear or not? Therefore, that let, us, let us suppose these are electrons. These are free electrons. Okay. These are called free electrons are filled states. That means these energy levels are occupied by free electrons. Clear that point? So inside the conduction band Fermi level indicates that from here to here free electrons are available. Now in the valence band see here this entire thing is valence band or not? This portion the entire thing. Okay. Here we are having valence electrons valence electrons now what is existing between this region now wa what valence band contains valence electrons as well as holes holes are empty states or filled states holes are empty states therefore consider these are holes Whereas all these are valence electrons. Valence electrons are also having energy level. They are filled states. Valence electrons are filled states. This, uh, these free electrons are also filled states. Okay. Whereas here these are holes, empty states. Empty state. These are called holes. These are called filled states, free electrons. These are filled states with valence electrons. That is the indication of the Fermi level. Fermi level gives from here to here valence electrons, free electrons, holes are available. From here onwards, valence electrons are available, filled states. Here, free electrons are available. Once again, they are filled states. Now, it is under unbiased condition, unbiased condition. V versus I, V F, I F, V I R, I R, it is V R. Now, see here, the filled states are starting from here, ending here. It's unoccupied states. This one unoccupied states. These are unoccupied states. Okay. Here valence electrons are there. Okay. And we are not going to bother about those things. Here free electrons are there. The energy are not matching. So there is no problem. Uh, what are the electrons here? Here electrons we are not bothered about. In this portion only for us important one. See here. The energy level of the empty states are starting here, ending here. The energy level of the filled states are starting here, ending here. See here, this one and this one, these energy levels are matching. These are filled states. These are empty states. And see here, this exactly energy levels are not at all matching. Not at all matching. Here empty states, here filled states. Once again, see here, these are empty states. This entire conduction band, these are empty states. These are filled states. In valence band, these are filled states, these are empty states. Clear that point? That's also important one. Now, see once again, listen carefully here. From here, this is the starting energy level of the free electron. That means filled state, ending here. Where is the empty states are starting? 
here, ending here, whether energy level of this one and this one are matching, not at all matching. So first condition is, what is the first condition? The width of the depletion layer should be very narrow, that is satisfied. What is the second condition? There must be an empty energy level at the opposite end. Electron from here can transfer here if there is a empty energy level here. But empty energy level is here above. Therefore, this electron cannot tunnel. Now, whether here the valence electron is here. Can valence electron can transfer here? Valence electron also cannot move from here to here because these are filled states. Filled to filled cannot be taken place. Okay? It, empty filled, not matching. Filled empty, not at all matching. Therefore, at the unbiased condition, current is zero. Once again, I will repeat this. The energy levels of the filled state is starting here, ending here. Now see, electron can transfer from, move from here to here, provided here there is an empty state. Empty state means hole has to be there. But here already occupied by valence electron. Therefore, cannot take in place. Here there is a free, holes are there. Here also empty states are there. Empty to empty, no transfer. Field to field, no transfer. Therefore, current is zero. Now, reverse bias is applied. Reverse bias is applied. Reverse bias is applied means what happens to barrier potential? E naught increases. Okay? What, is, what happens to width of the depletion layer? Increases. That means E naught increases. I am considering for simplicity purpose, I am not changing this side. Reverse bias means width of the depletion layer has to increase. I am assuming M side is increasing, P side is constant. Okay, actually both sides will increase. For understanding purpose, I am assuming the entire change is happening at the M side only. Now see here, previously un unbiased condition, this is the E naught. Now what is going to happen? E naught is increasing. E naught is increasing means this is pushing down or not? This comes here. That means see here, how what we are going to change is it will change like this EF ECN EVN this EG will remain same. Okay. Like this will be modified. Here. These are filled states. Now, whether electrons will move from here to here because see here this energy level occupied therefore there is no movement of electrons from N to P but see here these energy levels these are occupied states these are already I said empty here from here onwards it's free states this is E naught under reverse bias increased or E R under reverse bias which is greater than E naught. That's why it is pushing down. Now see here, all these electrons in this energy level, valence electrons, it's not compulsory that they must be free. Okay? Energy level has to match. That's all. Valence electrons also can jump in tunnel diode. Therefore, these valence electrons are moving from here to here. Therefore, current will be existed or not under reverse bias condition. Whatever I am starting explanation is reverse bias. So, under reverse bias, E naught increases, therefore it is coming down. Therefore, more number of electrons, the electrons available in this region can transfer from P to N. These electrons cannot transfer. This, this, this electrons cannot transfer. Only these electrons can transfer. Current will be there or not. Now whether it's a majority current or minority charge carrier current. Electrons are moving from P to N. Electrons are moving from P to N means it is 
minority carrier current nothing but reverse current therefore reverse current starts to flow now further increase the reverse voltage what is going to happen this further comes to down like this like this okay like this now what is going to happen along this one these now the number of electrons transferring from from p to n is increasing or not therefore in reverse bias condition current increases Nearly for a tunnel there. Further increase the reverse voltage. D naught goes on increasing. More number going to transfer. Further increasing. Okay. This is about the under reverse bias. condition and the reverse bias condition as the reverse voltage increases current also increases linearly now what happens in the forward bias condition Once again, I will redraw the figure once again. P type, N type, semiconductor, conduction band, its conduction band, E C N, E C P. This is E F. It's E F. therefore this is depletion layer e v p star c r e v n its valence band Valence band. These are empty states, nothing but holes. Empty states. see here here this contains valence electrons okay here this entire region contains valence electrons here This is E naught barrier potential. 
This figure is the once again tunnel diode under open circuit condition or unbiased condition. Now we will see if it is a forward bias what is going to happen. Okay. One minute. If it is forward bias what is going to happen? If forward bias, what happens to it of the depletion layer? Decreases. That means barrier potential decreases. So, unbiased condition, this is the barrier potential. If apply forward bias, the depletion uh, barrier potential decreases. That means this shifting upward direction. So, what is going to happen is, this becomes EF. This also moves up, okay. E C N. This also will change like this. No. Now see here. Consider. See. These are. These are filled states now. These are empty states. These energy levels are matching all, not all. Some of the energy levels are matching or not. Therefore, these are holes filled empty states. These are electrons filled states. Therefore, electrons will move from here to here. That means electrons in entire semiconductor are majority charge carriers. In forward bias condition, current is due to majority charge carriers or not. Therefore, these holes will move from here to here. So, what is going to happen? Current starts to flow. Further increase the forward voltage. So, what is going to happen? Now, all these maximum entire energy levels are matching both energy levels are exactly matching therefore peak current reaches maximum current reaches if further increase what is going to happen barrier potential is decreasing therefore now the carriers are like this now see here Only these now electrons can tunnel from here to here, whereas these are not at all matching. Only this can matching. Therefore, compared to previously, Only these now electrons can tunnel from here to here, whereas these are not at all matching. Only this can matching. Therefore, compared to previously, the number of electrons that can tunnel are going reduced or not. Therefore, once again current starts to reduce. Further increase forward bias, what is going to happen?
Let us see. These are free states. These are uh, sorry. These are uh, free uh, filled states. These are empty states. Now whether now energy is matching here. This is the energy starting here. This not at all matching. Therefore, no transfer takes place. Current becomes zero. So under Faraday's condition, current becomes zero after certain time. Okay, because now the filled states are above the energy level of the empty states. No energy matching. Therefore, no transfer. Current is zero. This is about the tunnel diode. Okay, next key continuation is there. We'll see that. I am redrawing that figure once again here. Current becomes zero. This is because of tunneling. At the same time, in a diode, normal current also starts to flow. These are VA characteristics. That means some of the electrons acquiring the energy, they will cross the junction in stuff. Some of the electrons initially tunnel. After certain time, tunneling becomes zero because energy levels are not touching. But in its tough tunneling, they can able to cross the junction, jump the junction because we are giving sufficient energy to the charge carriers. In that case, there is no empty states, free state, there is no concept. If tunneling is there, then only it is required. Whenever it is jumping, yes, they can jump simply if you give sufficient energy. So, till this point, till this point, tunneling is dominates compared to normal diode action. Therefore, normal diode current is negligible till this point of time. From here onwards, this is negligible because this is dominating. Therefore, overall tunnel diode characteristics are like this. Till this point, tunneling phenomena dominates. From here onwards, normal diode action dominates. It's clear? Therefore, the characteristics we are going to get is like this. The next thing. Okay, this is about the VA characteristics of a tunnel diode. In gate 2015, there is a one question on the this tunnel diode. I think it is for heavily doped diode. Something is just I'll check it. Okay, there is one case question on this 2015. First question, mostly from ADC. Okay, yeah. Now. This point is called This point is called peak point This point is called valley point Okay this called valley voltage valley current, peak current, this is called valley peak voltage. Now see here, from here to here, from here to here, voltage is increasing, but current is decreasing. What Ohm's law says, V is proportional to I, voltage increases means current has to increase, but if you see here, here voltage is increasing, but current is decreasing. This region of operation of tunnel diode is called negative resistance region. Negative resistance region. Why this region? Let us suppose this is O, A, B, this is C. Between A and B, as voltage increases, current decreases, okay, 
as per ohm's law v is proportional to i means v increases means current increases then the resistance is called positive resistance here as v increases resistance is decreasing therefore it's called negative resistance region okay tunnel diode acts as an oscillator in negative resistance region that means in this region tunnel diode acts as an oscillator that means it is if you operate the tunnel diode in this region it provides a sinusoidal not sinusoidal sorry okay it's a repeated continuously repeated wave form it's not a sinusoidal oscillator it is not relaxation oscillator that means it will not providing a sinusoidal some other wave form example a triangular or a r2 or a square some wave form not a sinusoidal okay so between a and b the region is of operation is called negative resistance region any device which possesses negative resistance region in its characteristics will act as an oscillator example tunnel diode ujt also acts as an oscillator it is also having negative resistance region ujt uni junction transistor okay now what are the what application of tunnel diode is an oscillator the other application of tunnel diode is it acts as a high speed switch acts as a high speed switch what is meant by high speed switch what is the normal diode also acts as a switch tunnel diode also acts as a switch but it is called high speed switch because tunneling phenomena takes at a very fast rate therefore current increase at a suddenly therefore it acts as a high speed switch the next application is tunnel diode finds applications in tunnel diode finds applications in pulse and digital circuitry okay pulse and digital circuits tunnel diode finds applications because of its triple valued nature because of its triple valued nature because of its triple valued nature the tunnel diode finds applications in pulse and digital circuitry what is meant by triple valued nature see here this current x x milliamperes can be obtained at this voltage v1 can be obtained at this voltage v2 can be obtained this voltage at v3 so v1 at v1 v2 v3 same current is obtained ix okay that that is called same current can be obtained at three different voltages therefore that is called triple valued nature because of its triple valued nature this uh, tunnel diode finds applications in pulse and digital circuitry the next one okay that's application now, now another point is uh, silicon is not used for manufacturing tunnel diode for normal pn junction diode and zener diode silicon is used but whereas for tunnel diode silicon is not used okay why silicon is not used means see high peak current we require large negative resistance region if you want to use it as an oscillator from here to here you have to use okay you require large ip by iv difference should be very large silicon is not going to capable of providing very large ip by iv silicon is not capable of providing very large ip by iv therefore it na it will not find applica uh, it is na silicon is not used in the manufacturing of these tunnel diodes clear that point next that's about the tunnel diode this what we say we have seen zener diode varactor diode tunnel diode all these comes under the category of special purpose diodes then there is a photodiode led phototransistor avalanche diode all these comes under the category of optoelectronic devices 
that we'll see at the end okay last sessions we'll see those after electronic devices okay now we'll go for a the next topic silk uh, transistors okay before going to see the trans okay we'll first we'll see the transistor then what about the point that point i'll discuss afterwards transistors okay yeah since we are starting the new topic we'll have a break after break we'll start with this transistors clear okay. we'll have a break it's breakdown voltage the breakdown has to take place means some minimum current is compulsory required then only breakdown will take place here even though we are not represented exactly speaking it comes like this so now the minimum gnr current is compulsory required otherwise is it acting as a open circuit i already shown one problem we has done open circuit means no current flows output voltage equals to zero the second the continuation suppose gnr diode is biased at a voltage more than vzs good then but the current through the gnr diode lower than izk is not possible if the applied voltage is more than the breakdown voltage compulsory that's based on that one the diode will be in the breakdown once it is in the breakdown compulsory minimum current will be maintained below that one it's impossible if it is there then the diode will not be in the breakdown that's the case iz is not maintained minimum means the diode will not be in the breakdown that means it will act as a open circuit okay next question puja germanium at 400 degree kelvin is uniformly doped with an acceptor impurity concentration of 10 power 15 and okay calculate equilibrium holes p not okay at temperature 400 degree kelvin acceptor impurities are 10 power 15 atoms per centimeter cube donor impurities are zero then p not how much okay we know na plus total positive charge equals to total negative charge these ions are having negative charge electrons okay holes are having positive charge donor ions are having positive charge we are adding na acceptor impurities acceptor impurities means it is acting as a p type semiconductor in p type semiconductor that means it is a p type semiconductor given in p type semiconductor electrons are negligible electrons negligible electrons negligible and nd is given therefore na equals to p okay nothing but thermal equilibrium what is the answer 10 power 15 atoms per centimeter is clear puja next question fourth question fourth question puja metal from haryana if we increase we, we are in pn junction then what effect on ct ct is nothing but a transition capacitance if vr is increased what happens to ct okay transition capacitance is epsilon a by w if vr is increased what happens to the width of the depletion layer increases w increases if w increases means ct decreases ct decreases and what is the relationship between this ct and w is okay see ct is w this inversely proportional but what is the difference what is the relationship between ct and vr then ct is inversely proportional to vr 
if it is if it is abrupt junction ct is proportional to 1 cube root of vr if it is a what you can say grown junction or linearly graded junction clear puja next question yeah next question fifth question puja metal from haryana why same empty energy level concept is not comes in pn junction now see listen puja here an energy level what we can say in a pn junction the width of the depletion layer is this much here p and n therefore the charge carriers are not able to penetrate if they wants to penetrate first condition is the width of the depletion layer should be narrow whereas in a pn junction the width of the depletion layer is very large very large in the sense the charge carriers electron holes cannot penetrate that much large okay therefore there is no concept of that empty now if it comes here there must be an empty energy level is required but in a p types uh, pn junction it's not penetrating they are jumping once it let us suppose you reach a height simply jumping whether free state is there or empty state uh, is available or not simply jumping okay it's like this we reach it to a certain height from height we are jumping that's all okay jumping means it comes there is no need of free states if it is penetrating then required clear puja it will not come because they are not penetrating they are jumping for penetration doping is required very high then automatically that that diode becomes in uh, this tunnel diode clear puja next to use sir practically is it possible to get negative resistance in a device or a theoretical concept as yes, it is practically possible okay it is possible and if you see do experiment of ujt or tunnel diode compulsory you will get the negative resistance it's possible it's not theoretical concept it is possible next question puja metal from haryana when you will cover the half wave full wave rectifiers and clippers clamper stopper sorry puja actually it will not be in edc this half wave full wave rectifiers clippers clampers will be in analog circuits just to go through the syllabus it will be in analog circuits not in edc next kirtana sir in semiconductor the total current is due to holes and electrons yes correct good is in plus ip but why it is not ip plus in sorry i can't get kirtana you are written in plus ip good total current due to electrons plus holes same thing this is current due to electron this is current if i write in plus ip or ip plus in both are same i can't get that one in a semiconductor total current is due to always both due to holes and electrons yes in plus ip but why it is not ip plus in ip plus in or in plus ip both are same sorry kirtana i can't get that question as of my knowledge if i am understanding whatever i am understanding is correct then both are same there is no difference a plus b b plus a that's meaning okay just check it that question whatever maybe as of my knowledge that's the thing kirtana clear next we'll continue with the next okay yes Transistors. There is a voice call waiting. Okay. Yes. One voice call. I am waiting. Just wait. Anybody there? 
हेलो या सर ओके हेलो 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 या सर योर वॉइस इज ऑडियो बट मी हेलो आई एम नॉट गेटिंग हेलो हेलो नेक्स्ट ओके दैट वॉइस कॉल विल टेक इट लेटर बिकॉज आई वी आर नॉट एबल टू हियर हर वॉइस और हिज वॉइस आई डोंट नो एक्जैक्टली ओके मे वी ट्राई फॉर द नेक्स्ट आफ्टर ब्रेक वी कैन चेक इट ओके इन मीन वेल ऑल्सो यू कैन चेक इट समबडी आई डोंट नो हर नेम और हिज नेम या वी कंटिन्यू विद द टॉपिक ट्रांजिस्टर्स ट्रांजिस्टर्स क्लासिफाइड इनटू टू कैटेगरीज 